Saggy will spark another British boxing invasion of Las Vegas when he takes on Bernard Hopkins on April the 19th. And Carl Zaghi himself will be in the studio this lunchtime to answer your questions and to talk about his World Light Heavyweight Contest with Bernard Hopkins, which is taking place in April. Well, we can hear from him and promoter Frank Warren now, and uh, Carl Zaghi can't wait to get the fight on. You know, going to watch uh, Ricky Hatton fight and seeing the tremendous support for the British fans really <coughs> sort of in my mind that I have to get a fight in the States before I retire, you know, because... Uh, in that absolutely amazing reception, and so did I. And um, everyone was saying we were going to fight in America, and uh, having uh, Hopkins come face to come face to face, Hopkins at the at the, at the press, at the way in was 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 brilliant. And um, yeah, we spoke to Frank, and obviously they said that's the fight we want. So the fight's on, you know. And I'm really really excited. Um, again, thanks to obviously Sky Sports, um, for Robert, for obviously. Everything and uh, next bit is my the hard work is me going out there and then it's kicking his ass, you know. And um, where else I've seen where uh, with Ricky, you know, he fought a great fight, but believe me, the British fans are going to see a win and they're going to see a spectacular win, you know. They're going to see, you know, Joe Calzaghi smashing the hell out of um, what's his name, <laughs> Jerry Poppins. Um, I'm going to go for a free flick facelift, but right? looking at Hopkins, he definitely needs a facelift, um, so I'm going to sort him out. So it's going to be fun, you know, it's, uh, it's going to be uh, a good fight, hopefully. Let's hope he doesn't run, let's hope the ring is not as big as the actual arena, Frank, and um, I'll catch him up and sort him out. And that, and that, that I think, is really crucial to this fight. If Bernard mm -hmm. Hopkins comes to fight, we don't want him home. We want him to come to fight. He's the guy who said that he's made all these statements what he's going to do. We want him to come to fight. Well, Carl Zaghi beat Denmark's Mikhail Kessler in November to become the undisputed world super middleweight champion. American Bernard Hopkins is one of the last decade's great champions, having won titles at middleweight and light heavyweight. The Welshman goes up a week to meet Hopkins in Las Vegas at the Thomas Mack Centre, and Satanta Sports will have live coverage of what promises to be a classic encounter. And Joe Calzaghi will be live here in the Satanta Sports News Studios from 1 o'clock to talk about that fight and anything else that we'd like to ask him about. Or you can email us some questions as well. The usual address you need there is views at satanta.com or you can text us as well. On 6300, starting off your message with the word views, those texts will be, start, will be charged at the standard network rate. Well, to boxing in now, and Joe Calzaghi will fight Bernard Hopkins in Las Vegas on April the 19th. So this is what he had to say to our reporter, Natalie Perks, earlier on today. Is America ready for Joe Calzaghi? Hope so, because uh, I'm, ready, I'm ready for America, you know what I mean? It's going to be a good fight. Um, massive year for me in 2007 with the big wins against Kess, the undisputed champion. So looking for new goals. And uh, after going to the arena, you know, Ricky Hatton and uh, Floyd Mayweather fight. I realised that I need to get over here and fight, so... Yeah, I was going to say, like, a past in your career, you've always said you haven't ever felt the need to go to the States, so why now? Because I had a taste of it. I went over to America and I've seen uh, the reception Ricky got. Absolutely amazing. And um, also myself, you know, even at the weigh-ins, having 8,000 British fans, you know, going all the way to watch you fight is, is, is something that make you extremely proud, you know, and see your name up in lights. I spoke with Ricky and it's one thing that's missing. I thought, yeah, you know, if I'm going to fight for one more year, I've achieved everything I can achieve as far as title goes, but, you know, it's always that thing of never going to America, so I've got to do it. And Hopkins is never going to come to Wales. I don't, don't blame him. So what was it then? What's the difference? So Americans just seem to do things bigger and better, don't they? But give us a sense of the atmosphere and the sense of what it was that really changed your mind. Yeah, just, uh, just going out. I'm looking for new goals. At the end of the day, obviously, the British fans were tremendous and everything, and going to fight in America. I don't believe I have to go out to America to prove anything to the Americans. That's one thing that, that's not a point. You know, just like heavyweight champions, none, none of them are American at the moment. You know, it's switched. There's no, America's not the, the be-all, end-all of uh, world boxing. But it's just, it's just a goal for myself. It's just, I get, I get bored. I'm 25 years of boxing, I get bored. You know, I box in Wales all the time against somebody like Peter Manfredi. I get bored. And I don't perform because it's hard to motivate yourself. You're not worried about something. You're not scared about a challenge. Now, I thought Lacey Kessler, I, was, I knew they could fight. So uh, that's why I fight as good as I do fight. That's why against Hopkins, if you come to Wales, you know, I know I, it's going to be a lot easier. But the challenge is me going to America for the first time is to go there and you've got all American judges, American referee. And also, you just it's somebody else's turf. So that in itself is going to be a big challenge. Plus, moving up to light heavyweight as well, which I've never boxed at. 
So that, that, that's a challenge. That's going to make me train harder, hopefully, and make me want to prove a point. And obviously, after Ricky Hatton lost, it's a revenge mission for Britain. So I'm looking forward to it. Obviously, he's number one in that division. Um, bookies have got you as favourite, though. Is that a little bit of extra pressure? Well, of course it should have me. You look surprised. What is... <laughs> it's number one. Well, of course. No, it's number one, but you lost four fights, four oh. times. I'm undefeated, 44 and zero. And my zero is going to stay zero. And I'm younger than him. You know, I'm getting old, but he's older. <laughs> I'm 36 in March, but he's 43. So, hey, he's not going to win. You know, I'm going to win. A lot of banter leading up to this fight as well, particularly with him. Um, made quite a racist remark. But journalists didn't take it very well. How did you? How did it go down with you? No, I wasn't offended, to be honest. I just think he's... He just sounded stupid, you know, because I know he's going to lose. So he's going to look really stupid when he does lose to a white guy, you know. And at the end of the day, like I say, I'm going to lose to a white guy, black guy, yellow guy, green guy, any color guy, because I'm going to lose full stop. So if I, I don't think he's a racist. I just think, you know, he's it was just a stupid comment, you know, without really thinking. And uh, it's pantomime at the end of the day, you know, boxers try to sell a fight. And in that comment, he sold the fight, so good luck to him, you know, keep it going, keep it going, keep selling tickets, keep talking, I'll do a talk in the ring. You can be the bad guy outside the ring, and I'll be the good guy. You can play his role, but in the ring, I'll play my role, I'll be the bad guy in the ring, that's the difference. Well, what do you say to uh, people that might say that Bernard Hopkins is a little bit, maybe a year past his prime? I hope he is. <laughs> I hope he is. No, he's still, a, listen, he's still, you, you, can't, you can't knock the guy at the end of the day. You know, he beat Tarver not long ago and he beat Winky Wright. So you, you can't go into a fight thinking he's over the hill because he, he's, an, he's an exception. Because 43-year-old, you're not supposed to still be a top fighter, but he is. And he's been proven that. He lives, he doesn't drink, you know, he doesn't... He obviously, he lives completely for boxing and he's looked after himself and he's still in, in great form. But at the end of the day, I'm not going to prepare for an over-the-hill um, Hopkins. I'll prepare for a peak Hopkins because I believe I'll beat him at his peak or even now. So at the end of the day... The most, like I said, the biggest challenge is to go to America. I hope, I'm hoping that the, 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 there's going to be a fair referee. As Ricky Anthony saw, he, the referee wasn't really that fair to him. And when Hopkins boxed against Winky Wright, um, Hopkins headbutted him twice, cut his eye. So he got away with it. And I'm just hoping that, you know, he ain't going to try any of that stuff with me, man. Or he's going to, it's going to be prison rules. <laughs> well, Joe Calzaghe there, very bullish ahead of that fight. We will be confident. talking to him in the next, probably about half an hour, I think he's coming at one yeah, o'clock. Yeah, I think it's pretty soon. That's awesome. So uh, do keep those emails coming into us. Uh, the email address is views at satanta.com or you can text us on 6300. Just remember to start your text message with the word views. You'll be charged at the standard network rate. We've had a few in already, actually, so thank you for these. We'll get through as many nice. as we can when Mr Calzaghe joins us here in the studio. We certainly will. But now to tennis. And on coming up, there's plenty more in the next hour. We will be joined by this man, this April, Joe Calzaghe, or fight Bernard Hopkins in Las Vegas. If you have a question, email it in to us. We'll do our best to get as many questions to him as possible. <laughs>